In this video, we are going to discuss Scala list methods. So there are so many list methods are available in Scala if you want to deal with the lists. Here we are considering some of the methods and we will be discussing some of them. But to get the complete Scala list methods, you are supposed to check the official documentation of Scala. So here you can find that so many methods are written and also one line description denoting the purpose of those methods. So def, def plus lm a colon list a. So this is the respective method which prepends an element to the list. Consider this, this very method here we are having two times double colon adds an element x at the beginning of the list. We can have this add string. So appends all the elements of the list to a string builder. So now what will happen all the elements in the list will be concatenated and that will be forming a string builder class object. So we are having this add string. So appends all the elements of the list to a string builder using a separator string. So here you see here we are passing one separated of the type of string. So all those elements will get concatenated will be formed a string builder class object but all those elements will be separated by the separator as you have passed here. So now we are having this apply. So select an element by its index in the list. Just consider this one copy to array copies elements of the list to an array fills the given array x with at most length there is a length number of elements of this list and beginning at the position start. So here you are passing 1, 2, 3 parameters. So 3 parameters you are passing. So there is an array we are having this uh, start position we are also having the length there is a number of. So that is why according to that copy to array this method will be working. Going for this distinct list A. So now builds a new list from the list without any duplicate elements. So now in this way you are having so many methods which, which can be used in our list manipulation. So here we are having this drop method returns all elements except the first n ones. We are going for drop right. So returns all elements except the last n ones. So now you can find that we are passing this n as input parameter. So ends with test whether the list ends with the given sequence or not. We are having this equals, we are having this exists. So test whether a predicate holds for some of the elements of the list or not. So that is our exists which is having this respective uh, input arguments and it returns boolean. So we are having this filter returns all elements of the list which will satisfy a certain predicate. So now here you can find that it will return the list of elements and if the condition is true when the condition is true for a certain element then only that element will be added in this returned list. We are having this uh, for all, we are having this for each. So applies a function f to all elements of the list. We are having this index of. So find the index of the first occurrence value in the list after, uh, after the index position. So in case of index of, we are passing this element, element and this is my uh, from that is the integer type. It is of any type and which is returning one integer. So we are having this intersect. So computes a multi set intersection between the list and the another sequence. So these are the plenty such methods are available. You can pause the video and you can check them. So here we are having this iter, iterator. So now we are having this creates a new iterator over all the elements content in the iterable object. We are having this last. So returns the last element, last index of finds the index of the last occurrence of the of some value in the list before or at a given end index. So here you see this is a element, a element will have the respective type any this is the end that is a of type int and it returns the index so that is also int here. We are having this map so builds a new collection by applying a function to all elements of this list. So here we are having this max, min, we are having this max string and so many other methods are there. Like your reverse returns new list with the elements in the reverse order. So just, uh, just you can check that these are the different methods which will be using in our list oriented applications. 
developing scholar, scholar and these are the methods we will be using them and one line descriptions we have given for a better clarity. So, here we are having this sum, the sum of the elements of this collection, we are having this take returns the first n elements, the n will be passed as the input argument, we are having this take write return last n elements, two array converts the list to an array and so on. Here we are having two map, we are having two sequence, two set and two string, converts the list to a string, converts the list to a set. In this way, we are having multiple type conversion methods that are available. So, let us go for one practical demonstration where you will be using some of these methods for your better clarity in a sample Scala code. So, here is the demonstration for you. In this demonstration, we shall discuss some of the very common list methods. So, we have defined three lists, one is the fruit 1, then fruit 2 and another one is the fruit 3. So, three lists we have defined, the content of those lists, the member of those lists are in front of you. So, before doing the reverse operation, I want to print the fruit 1 content. So, what is the outcome? You, you can easily see in the output. So, it is apples, oranges and pears. So, after doing the reverse, I want to print the fruit 1 content. So, I am getting this one pears, oranges and apples. That means, you can find that all these members, all these fruit names which were there in the fruit 1 list, they have got reverse in the sequence. Is the orange present in the list? So, that is the question. So, now you see fruit 1 dot contents orange, but here you see we have written oranges. So, that is why for this particular uh, case we will be getting the output as false. But if I make this one as oranges, if I make this one an oranges and rerun our code, then you can find that the respective outcome will be true here because oranges are present here. So, now we are getting this outcome as true. So, are the list fruit 1 and fruit 2 are equal? So, are the list fruit 1 and fruit 2 equal? So, fruit 1 and fruit 2 are having the same contents. So, we will be getting the outcome as true because equals returns boolean. You can see the prototype here also, the equal returns boolean. And now, in, the, in this case, if you go on uh, doing the comparison uh, equals in between fruit 2 and fruit 3, their contents are not same because here we are having these apples and here we are having these mangoes. So, now here we are having this mango. So, that as a result of that, we are getting this outcome as false. So, in this way, some of the list methods we have demonstrated. So, now it is your part. You can test other methods uh, which we have discussed in, in our video uh, in the Scala code accordingly. Thanks for watching this video.